Hello, you know why I'm here. Today, I am teaching you how to use the multiple RTMP plugin to stream to two or more platforms at the same exact time, absolutely free. This is an intermediate guide for people that are familiar with installing OBS plugins. Let's get right into it. So first, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the obsproject.com and you're gonna go to this link that I'm gonna include in the description for the multiple RTMP outputs plugin. Once you're on this page, you're gonna go to the download section right here on the right corner, and you're gonna download the program for your respective platform. So once you get to this new page, you're gonna scroll down, and it's gonna have a section called assets. So if you're on um, Linux, this is your Linux download. And then for the people on Windows, what you're gonna do is you're gonna be downloading the Windows X 64 installer.exe. So we're gonna go ahead and download that. All right. Once you have that download, you're gonna run run the program and it might prompt you with like the Windows protected your PC thing. It's fine. This is um it's just a, you don't have to worry about this warning. Go ahead and hit more info and click run anyway. All right, from there you just go through and you follow the prompts. It's gonna automatically default to your OBS OBS plugin folder. Go ahead and install that. All right, so once you have that installed, you're gonna go ahead and re restart your OBS and you're gonna get some new docs right here. A new doc is gonna be floating. You might have to pin it down for the multiple output. And from here, you're gonna have an option to add new targets. So this is how you're gonna add your new play, um, your new targets for whether you wanna stream to TikTok, if you have a stream key, Twitch, Kick, or YouTube. So what, this is what the menu looks like. It's very simple. So you hit add new target. It's going to bring a new streaming settings thing. So you can, you can name this, whatever. I'm just going to put this, like, I'm going to put like, we'll use kick, for example, kick test. And then from your kick dashboard, you're going to go ahead and pull your RM, your RTMP server and your RTMP key. So let me go ahead and show you how you, how you find that. All right. So when you're on your kick, you go to your creator dashboard. And then you go to settings and stream key. And then when you're in this section right here, all you do is you literally just copy your stream URL and then put that in the URL section of your OBS. And then you take your stream key, paste it in there. So after that is pretty much simple. If you just want to, what I suggest doing, especially for the folks, if you don't want to tax your PC is you make sure you, you just leave this to get from OBS. That way it just uses whatever settings you're using for your primary stream and it just, it just duplicates that so that it doesn't add any additional load. Now, if you do pick a different encoder, you can change these settings. You can change bit rate. You can change your resolution. You can change your keyframe interval and your B frames. But like I said, this is an extra encode that you're going to be doing. So if you want to say stream to like 1080p on one platform, but then stream 1440p to another platform, by checking a different encoder, you can add those settings in there, but it's going to add additional load. So I don't suggest this for people that are streaming on a one on a single PC setup. They're also gaming on there. It might it might cause your P, your game to have performance issues. But if you're on a dual PC setup, you might have enough head headroom to be able to do that. But like I said, for most people that are watching this guide, definitely make sure you pick get from OBS so that you can just add that. So literally just name it what you want it. So kick YouTube or whatever, put your server, put your key, lead this to get from OBS. And all you have to do is hit okay. And then you'll have a new section over here on what you want to do. And basically you just have to make sure you log, you're logged into your primary streaming service. Right now I'm connected to Twitch. So I have that set up. And then once you start, hit start stream, you'll start broadcasting to Twitch. And then you just hit start right here on the corner and it'll start broadcasting to kick as well. And then from there, you can just, you know, open up your chat windows and you can monitor everything. TikTok, same thing. If you have a stream key, put your URL and uh, your stream key. But the people that have stream keys on TikTok, reminder for this, every single time you start your stream, your stream key is different. You get a new stream key every time you start a stream. So before you stream to TikTok, go to your dashboard. So you go to go live. And then from here, when you edit everything and you go live, your stream key is going to populate down here and you hit copy and you place that in there and then you're good to go. And that's basically it.
And then YouTube, obviously the same way if you know how to create your YouTube, as I'm just showing you how, how to access this information on all different platforms. So YouTube, you go to your live, your live studio or YouTube studio. You click this little button for go live. This is where you would go. And this is where you would grab your stream key. You just copy that for your stream key. And then your server is your stream URL right here. Copy that, paste in the respect the spot and you're good to go. So yeah, so that's intermediate guide. Very simple. Like I said, this is for people that want a little bit more flexibility. If you wanted to stream to more than two places, if you use a restream option, you're, you're, you're stuck with two. If you want more than two um, platforms at the same time, you have to pay a subscription fee of 999 a month. So this is where the RTMP multiple output plugin comes into play where you can stream two, three, even four places at the same time, as many places that your PC can handle. All you have to do is just grab your respective stream URL and your stream key and you're good to go. Once you hit start and then you hit all these, you can hit individual locations or you can hit start all and that's it. So if you guys enjoyed this guide, if it helped you out, make sure you like the video, um, comment down below what platforms you're going to be maining, what platforms you're going to be multi-streaming to and see you guys next time. And then for a bonus, you guys might be wondering when I stream to all these multiple platforms, how do you manage all those different chat windows? I'm going to be doing that. I'll be covering that in my next video. Till next time. Peace.